Thank you very much again. And hello, everybody. This is Sylvie Diego, Sharon Rose Master from Edison Center. And wow, what an introduction. That but let me just uh, have a talk with you tonight and share my um, experiences before and after Atomy. And hopefully, I'll be able to share something that's useful for each of you, whether you're a beginner or have been doing Atomy for a long time. Um, just something that hopefully will be useful for you in the coming days and months and years ahead. So let me get started. So that was the that was the, the nice polished version that you heard the introduction, but let me just give you a quick uh, overview of who I am. And I'm probably like many of you in, in many ways and, and different things. I grew up in a city environment in an urban city of Boston. And of course, uh, growing up, uh, school was a big part of my life. And I was uh, like many people, not just myself, but from 10 to 12 years old, I had three ventures already. Um, and I know a lot of entrepreneurs are on this call. So that was the fun part, although um, it got me into some trouble with, uh, with parents that uh, thought I was taking too much risk, but uh, that's for another time. Um, and also I started working at an early age. So I was a laborer from the age of 12. I worked in grocery stores and offices as an office boy. And, later uh, as a consultant doing reports, even during uh, high school and such. So I've been a worker a long time, like all of us here. And um, also a big part of my life has been as an entertainer. I love to be an, an MC at variety shows and sing and all that. And um, I guess that's one re reason I was able to catch my wife because she did ask me to sing at our wedding as well as did my mother. So that was a big part of my life. And of course, um, like many of you, I was also into sports. My teams were hockey and, uh, and I also played uh, football. And so, you know, I'm just a typical kid, grew up here in the East Coast, uh, mainly in Boston. Um, so that was me. And then after high school, something nice happened. I was able to go out to the West, to the Rocky Mountains and to the Montana Mountains. And wow, it really gave me a different idea about life because I had been in the concrete jungle and now I saw the mountains and the rivers and wow, it was really refreshing. And I have to thank uh, a singer by the name of John Denver in his Rocky Mountain High because he brought me out there and it was the first time I noticed that I could turn an idea from a song into reality of doing something by my own effort, by my God-given will. So that was an eye-opener for me. What a summer that was. But then, like many of us, I came back to the so-called rat race. And uh, I'll give you a quick overview, just uh, not to bore you too much, but if people know the Robert Kiyosaki, rich dad, poor dad, he has the quadrant. So my uh, life started as an employee, as I mentioned, uh, as 12 years old. But later after college, I became a, a corporate executive and then a consultant on my own. And I even did a stint in a nonprofit. So I was on the payroll of other people, but I got tired of that and my entrepreneurship came up again. And so I did start my own consulting company. And as a business owner, I had to deal with all those things. And then uh, later um, also um, I became a freelancer. So I became um, sort of my own person, but I still had to, always uh, um, be observant of the person who hired me and the companies that hired me. So most of my life, uh, like maybe many of you, has been all involving active income. If I didn't show up at work, maybe I had a couple weeks vacation or a handful of sick days, but you know, I worked like a dog and um, I can say that yes, I, uh, I was able to, fortunately with hard work and some luck, be able to reach you know six figures whether it was in the Fortune 500 company, I was also able to do that as a sole proprietor of my own consulting business. And I was able to do it as well, even as a freelancer, um, um, serving other companies um, just as sort of a, a freelancer that just takes a job by job, maybe for a month or maybe for a year. Who knows? It depends on how long they want you. So I know we're all in that space, but Probably 20 years ago, I, me and my friend had read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and we were looking around for a long time for that business system. But in the meantime, we were saving money and putting into you know, the typical investments. But in the back of my mind was always, what could be a good business system? And so finally, finally, 
I'm going to tell you tonight about how I met Adam Eve, my really first business first system business system that has the hope has of, the you know, financial freedom and really having an impact on the world. So um, that's where I've been. And now I want to tell you how I first became aware of Adam Eve. You see, I am mostly a driver, especially on the evenings and the weekend as a as a husband that has to drive his wife different places. And one of the places I used to drive my wife was about 40 miles away for her to buy a certain brand of Japanese eye cream. Um, but she used to pay about $100. And um, oh, it was more than $100 because I had to buy her lunch and, of course, pay for gas. But one day um, she told me that she changed her eye cream to something uh, that was different. It was eye cream from Adamy. And boy, it was only $17 at the time. And I thought, wow, that's nice. Uh, $83 a, a jar savings plus the gas money and the, the lunch money. Oh, okay. That's the only thing I knew about Adamy for probably a year. Uh, but suddenly there's a hand came over. Every so often I get a hand uh, handing me the foam cleanser or the toothpaste. And I really didn't know where it came from. But, you know, it was very good. You know, So like many of you, I met Adamy in the bathroom, really. Um, but before you know it, after a few months, I was also uh, realizing that, hey, this is good for my health, um, saving money, like I said, and also uh, saving time, you know, not having to go to the store as often. So those are three immediate benefits that I noticed, even though I wasn't even aware of what was going on with Atomy. And I think any consumer can understand that. Our health gets better. We save money, a significant amount of money, and we save time. So that was the early days of Atomy for me, but suddenly I was dragged away. Um, I don't even know why or where, but I did end up at the Marriott Hotel, like maybe many of you ended up at a hotel or some other place for a one day seminar. And I went a little bit resisting in my mind and heart, but you know, I had to do it, you know, and I wasn't really listening much and you know, okay, um, I don't know what the whole thing was about. and. I could tell you that I have to listen to what was going on. So I really didn't catch the whole concept of Atomy. Um, and so I, maybe a lot of us aren't really always paying attention when new opportunities come. There's a Dr. Lee that used to tell us at the seminars about uh, the Greek god of luck. And this is just a story, but the god of luck would come at you and his hair would be there. And it was very easy to grab it towards you. But, but if you let him go by, then, you know, his back of his head is bald. And it's very hard to get him. So, you know, you have to take the advantage when you can. And I know um, I didn't pay attention for a number of years. And just this week, I heard from another partner that she had heard about Atomy about 10 years ago. But she had let it go by, too. And many people do. But two or three years ago, she started to get active. So um, I think we all have this common situation. Um, but what really opened me up and made me aware of what Atomy was was my encounter with Hemohim. I went to the doctor for a regular flu shot after decades of taking it. And within 12 hours, I woke up with uh, all kinds of itchiness, a full body rash and hives. And I started suffering in the morning and my wife suggested I take this Hemohim uh, from Atomy. And of course, as a typical American, I resisted. No way I wasn't gonna take that. Um, and so I suffered all day. Of course, I'm on the phone with the pharmacist and the doctor. And what can I do? Take over the counter pain, uh, itchy relief. Uh, but just wait about a week or 10 days and it will clear up. But lo and behold, uh, by dinner time, I was so hot and bumpy hives. And by, di by evening when I was trying to go to sleep, I couldn't and I was passing out. Anyway, the EMT told me the same thing. You're fine. You have a pulse. But if you go to the hospital, you still have to wait seven to 10 days. And so in the middle of the morning, probably at, by the time the sun rose, I finally agreed as a stubborn American to take Hemohim. And do you know what happened with Hemohim? By lunchtime, I was starting to clear up. And by evening, I was completely back to my normal skin color. So I was just blown away. My mind opened up. My heart opened up and I started to really investigate. I started to attend meetings. I started to pay attention to the products. And I think we all need that kind of a wake up call with Atomy because just like that Greek God coming towards us, Atomy is a great opportunity. So if you haven't yet, 
find a way to wake up to the possibility and the wonderfulness of atomy. So why do I do atomy? You know, I heard, I had the, some opportunity, you know, in the past to have some decent uh, work, but you know, there's really a couple reasons I do atomy. Obviously, the first one is for my family. Even though I've had a job, you know, a lot of things can happen. And so I have to think about them for today and for the future. So they're one of my big whys. Um, my family, my wife and my daughter and my brother and other people in my family. But also, I've been coming to find out that I'm passionate about doing Atomy for my team because we are kind of the Atomy family, as I heard on the call today. So that's my other why. But there's another why, too, and that is helping any member that I know or don't know to improve their health in body, spirit, and finances. Now, this is what Mr. Park says is his whole reason for creating Atomy and the model, a business model that he's created, that people can be healthy. And also, when you're healthy and have some income, then you can also be confident and you become um, dignified. And in addition to that, if you have a long-term finances, boy, does that give you a, a wonderful, bountiful life, you know, a full life that we've been promised a full life, but a lot of us don't know how to get it or what tool to use to get a full life in this earth. So that's uh, another why. But even more than that, I think that a lot of us um, also have an interest to help the world, you know. We want to solve all these big problems, you know, um, whether it's poverty or the health of other people, um, hunger, those kind of things. But many times we are kind of tight in the wallet because we have so many expenses or things. So Atomy, if we can make money and extra money, we can help other people. And so I love the fact that the purpose of Atomy is also to change the consumer producer relationship to change the flow of money within the Atomy uh, family, that we spend money and we get money back as cash back, um, that the social money goes not to the shareholders and somewhere that we don't even know, to the Wall Street, uh, but it goes uh, to each other's pockets, right? Because we do have that uh, cash back coming in. And it ends up solving one of these big problems, which is distrib the distribution of wealth and very importantly, I think, it allows the holy rich to impact the world, you know, the big why. Like I say, we may want to um, help build hospitals or schools or even in our, in our towns or our cities, there are people that are um, in bad situations for whatever reason. And with this extra five, 10, 15,000, 20,000 a month, we now as an individual can impact the world instead of thinking about it. Atomy gives us the real means to do that. And guess what? If we join our hands together as Atomians, we can have a bigger impact and we can have all kinds of charitable funds and everything. So as um, many people say out there in the motivational speaking world, we need a why. And I'm hoping that you have at least one of these three whys and hopefully, uh, hopefully all three of them, because the why is what's very important for us to do Atomy and keep going through the hard times. So that's my why. But then the big question many people have is, why now is the time to do Atomy? And now means any time. Of course, we say now is the time because of the pandemic, but any time is good. You know, we always have daily needs, so we need income. And um, many people are out of work. But in any case, we always need food and housing and clothing. And we have to pay for school and the doctors. And unfortunately, the way that things work, uh, many people tend to have mortgages and loans on cars and, and uh, in effect, debt. So uh, unfortunately, many of us have been trained to have debt um, by the society around us um, and our ambitions. So we do need that um, income from, from that. But also, we have many situations, and this was uh, always predicted in the Bible, of course, every seven years, there's a famine or something. And I guess it's true. You know, there's disruption in our lives. You know, we had the financial crisis, boy, 13 years ago. But we always have every year, some part of the country, these disasters. We now have COVID-19 or weather events, hurricanes, Superstorm Sandy, whatever it might be. And we may have personal crises like health condition, 
someone gets cancer, um, they need a certain operation, an organ transplant, a job loss. And even if you have the best health insurance, what I found out in my family is that if you have bills over 500,000 or a million dollars, which can easily happen, especially if you have cancer, um, you're suddenly in a very tough situation. And um, I think they say more than 50% of American bankruptcies are because of a health debt and expenses. So that's another reason we need out of it, right? And of course, retirement. Uh, we dream of retirement maybe, um, but it's very hard to have retirement. Of course, we may have the 401ks. Um, we may think that we have social security, but that may give us 1,500, maybe 2,000 a month, depending on how we've worked over the 35 years that they count. Um, but if you, even if you have savings, you know, think about savings. Um, if you can live, and I don't think you can live in the Northeast for 50,000 a year, to live 10 years, you'd need $500,000 in the bank because, because of course there's zero interest now, right? So 500,000 just to live 10 years on 50,000, which isn't really a lot of money. You might have to move to another country. Um, and don't forget, they're telling us that we can be healthy and live a long time. And with Atomy, we're going to be healthy so we can live 100 to 120 years. Hey, we need more than 10 years. So we need something like Atomy to take care of the daily needs, these disruptive events, and the retirement. So yes, we need it. We definitely need Atomy. But there's another reason we need Atomy. We need Atomy now because of robots. I've been talking about robots in Atomy for the last five or six years. I used to talk about the toll machines on all the highways, right? But now we've got all these computers and um, AI, we call it the fourth industrial, gener uh, industrial revolution. And look at this, Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Apple. They're worth trillions and trillions of dollars and they're taking over more of our economy uh, for doctors and lawyers and advertisers and so many things. But guess what? They don't even employ millions of people. So if you're not an, a, one of, an employee of these companies, the jobs have gone away a lot, right? Plus the pandemic, of course. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So what we know then is with the fourth industrial revolution, more and more jobs are going away, um, the, the ones that we have now. And I was reading this book about deep work and they said there's three things you can be um, in this fourth industrial revolution. You know, you can be wealthy, like a venture capitalist or a banker, but I don't think many people have that. Um, secondly, you can be super, super um, good at uh, data analytics and predict things and look at um, data and use these very sophisticated tools. But you have to be super, super, you know, MIT type of person. And how many of those people do they need? They don't need that many of them. And the other per thing you can do is you can be a superstar. You can be a superstar in whatever industry you're in because you can dominate that industry. But what about everybody else? That's the big problem. And that's amazing that Atomy um, CEO Hung Gil Park saw this, you know, more than a decade ago. So that's why we need something different. And the other reason we need it, because life is supposed to be good. We need Atomy if we ever want to think of the possibility of having financial freedom, whether it's to live a relaxing day on the beach, like these two jumping up and down, or maybe you just want money so you can pay those daily bills or get rid of your debt. Or, like I said, maybe you want to give money away, but you can't give money away if you don't have extra money. So these are really pressing um, needs. And most of us forget about this because, you know, as, debtor, as a debt society, we're basically slaves, right? Until you pay off your debt, you really don't have the choice of how you spend your time during the day. You cannot take months off to go travel. You may take two weeks. So this is another reason why, Adam, you know, we need our big why to keep going to make all these masterships. So how to start Atomy? I mean, many of you have been on here, but maybe there's a few of you that are new to Atomy. And it's really, the thing about Atomy is that there's a lot of de-learning, I think, in Atomy because we come with all these uh, experiences. We've been trained to do things a certain way. Uh, but with Atomy, it's super simple um, in a way. But it always starts with a simple step. So I remember this uh, a journey of a 10,000 miles starts with the first step. And some people never even take the first step. I know, and you probably know people who you've either introduced them to a product or you've even given them a product for free. And what happens when you talk to them a few days later with your first follow-up? They have not used it. Probably 50% of the people haven't used the, the product. How about this? 
um, you know, when they say, oh, I have a shampoo already, I'm going to finish that first. So I'll wait a month. They're waiting for their whole life to get better for a 20 or $30 bottle, $30 bottle of shampoo. Can you imagine? It? No, no, we have to start the first step. So the first step is so, so simple. And even people who are coming to the meetings, I know there's one or two of you out there, you haven't really used a lot of the products yet. You've tried a few, but you're, you're, a little, you're, not, you're not ramping it up. Well, it's so easy. We all have a body, right? And we have products that the body can use, right? Food, skincare, healthcare, personal care, home care. All we have to do is switch, right? We always say that switch, switch. And what happens? Um, you spend 10 or 20 or $30 on one product. And as a first timer, that's your due diligence. That's your testing, whether you really like the product. So don't wait. And this part is for the newcomers. Um, also, we immediately have a benefit. We have health benefit, which we can feel very quickly. Right? I just heard the, the testimony of someone who started to use the omega-3 for her dry eyes. And she started to felt, feel it. Wow, that's a beautiful benefit. And so her life is getting better. How about the savings? You know, $83 for me for the eye cream. That's a lot of money. So that money goes in the bank from day one. And the more products we shift over, the more savings. So sometimes it's hard for people to know about Atomy because we don't charge any recruiting fees when people sign up. And that's how most other companies that are called MLMs make the money for the company and for the, the business people is that they charge you money to join and your starter fees so they get cash right away. But hey, we have financial benefit too because we're saving 50 to 80% depending on how much you spent for your eye cream or your shampoo before. So we do have a financial benefit right away. And the other reason to use more and more products with Atomy is your personal testimony. Because we say that the only thing that really is important is your ability to tell how it worked for you, what the effect was. If you can tell somebody that you solved the pain in your knee from arthritis or your chronic dry eye, or people can see that your face has cleared up from acne, then really it's very easy to go to the next step, which is sharing your personal testimonies. And I, I, I'm old enough to remember this guy. He's called Yoda. You know, don't try. You have to do and act and start the next step, which is all about the sharing. Now, I bet some of your friends have bodies too. How many of you have friends that have bodies as well? Okay, anybody? Okay, cool. So all you have to do is tell them how it worked for your body, um, what the products were that did the things. You have your family all around you. You don't need to, to um, set aside a chunk of time to do Atomy. You can still be working or studying or whatever it is that you do because you come in contact with people. In fact, it's better if you just slightly mention something or show somebody something whether at work or school or at home or at a party, because it's a very natural conversation. And most of us don't like to be sellers and most of us don't like to be sold to. But what we do like is we like things that help us and save us money. So we have our family all around us. They're already there. And how about our friends? You know, um, whether we meet them in person or a lot of Zoom calls or social media, it's so even more simple now to share these things. So those are the really the building blocks to become an Atomy person who can work towards the first uh, step of uh, success. And again, we have to keep doing this. We talk about follow up and follow through. And I always remember, I put this on the, on the refrigerator, you know, if you're old enough like me to remember Karate Kid uh, repetition. Uh, and I put this here because, you know, sometimes people are very eager. They come in super eager. They're like a, a, ho a horse that's on a race. You ever see the horses at the beginning? They're in the stall and they're very, excited to start the race and they have to calm them down and we have that problem a lot with people that join Atomy because we tell them okay first of all use the products so you have the testimony and then also share the products lightly but don't talk what we say is don't talk about business first because many people run away so we say use the products and share the products and that's what this is wax on and wax off was Mr. Miyagi told this young boy who wanted to be a karate champion he said, I'm going to be a karate champion. Can you teach me? And Mr. Miyagi, the sensei said, yes. 
And so he said, well, what should I do? And he sent them out to the, um, to the uh, garage and driveway. And he said, okay, here's the wax. You're going to wax on, and then you're going to wax off. Wax on, wax off. So that's like our use the products, fill the testimony. Use the products, fill the testimony. But people, sometimes they don't want to do that step. And they're building ability to tell stories and to share in a very genuine way. That's why we say repeat those. Now here's, um, let's get into really how to um, really kind of become a, um, a commander that drives the way that you have success in Atomy, right? You have all the tools to share already. You don't have to necessarily develop a new skill set. You just have to use your existing skill sets in the right way. The first skill set I want to uh, talk about is mindset, your way of thinking. And actually, this is a tool I want you to stop using at first because we tend to overthink. We overthink. We have all the reasons not to use the product, not to talk to somebody. We're not ready. So many reasons. I think Mr. Park tells great stories that you stay up all night thinking about how you're going to tell somebody about the foam cleanser or the hemoheme and you don't sleep. And he says, don't worry about that. Just tell them the next day and let them stay up all night thinking. So try not to overthink about Atomy, right? But I think the biggest thing to start with Atomy is the heart set, right? The heart set, because that's our, that's our thing with uh, Mr. Um, Mr. Park is, hey, we have to love our neighbor. And if we give it from a genuine place, people receive that suggestion about using Atomy. So definitely we have to use the heart set. Hey, how about our personality? You know, if you're friendly, if you're funny, then just use that. But if you don't have that, develop a personality. That's what I always say. Um, but very simple. Here's the ones to bring into the field. You know, before telling anybody, we should listen, right? Use our ears. I think they say you have two ears and one mouth. So listen twice as much as you speak. So before you even introduce to somebody, you can listen to what's going on. Everybody wants to share what's going on. Many times, probably half of it is bad news. You know. I, I just got injured in my job. I was lifting a box or, oh boy, I just got, you know, um, I just had some reaction to something and my face is all broken up, whatever it is. So you listen to what their concerns are or, oh, my, my child is just out of college, but pandemic, they can't get a job. Oh, okay. So we listen with our ears and then at the right time, we share the information from our personal stories. How about hands? You saw what happened to me. Someone handed me foam cleanser. Sometimes you don't even have to tell people. If you don't know what to say to them, just hand them the product and say, try this, right? Do like Yoda. Don't try, do, use it. And that's what we can do. We can use our hands and of course our legs. Um, we can just get out there or go and, and, and go to a place that we can share and, and try what we can do. So all of those simple, simple methods are what's going to build our consumer base because, you know, you've seen the formula and all the compensation plans. There's plenty of videos out there, but if you haven't, go see them. But the main point is that to get to be an auto sales master, which is our first step of success for $2,000 a month, we generally need about 50 people on the left and right that use about 100,000 PV of product, which isn't really a lot of product, um, but that's 100 people. Um, that's going to be the end game for the sales master. But you just have to start with a few people, right? Um, you want this, but the first goal was just, you know, you're the first one. Once you become an avid shopper on Atomy, pretty soon I'm selling you within weeks or months at most, if you're very slow, you're going to already be qualified to get this money. And you only need 99 more people. Imagine that, just 99 left. And then try to get a few more people and go like that. And what really happens is that you may go through a lot of people that don't try the product, um, but eventually you're going to get some people and they're going to help you get more people. So it's really about doing that. You see, it starts with one. Here's Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel, right? It's amazing. But even Michelangelo, who was a superstar painter, he started painting one paint stroke at a time. So we can introduce one product to one person, another product to another person, go back to the first person and then number two. It's that easy. And how about this? Failure is part of the game. 
I love this from Michael Jordan, the probably the best um, basketball player of our age. And he says that he's missed more than 9,000 shots in his career. 9,000. 9,000. Wow. And he's lost 300 games. And 26 times he's been trusted to take the game-winning shot, and he missed. And he's failed over and over again in my life. And that's why I succeed. You see, anybody that's successful is going to fail. Even in venture capital, where I spent a lot of time, there's a big saying there. The saying is, fail early, fail fast. Fail early and fail fast. So if you don't take the shot, if you don't hand it over, if you don't tell somebody, nothing's going to happen. And unless you do that, you're not going to get the one that's going to um, accept the product or later accept, come to the meeting. So failure is a big part of it. So why don't you get it over with? You know, get those 9,000 shots out of the way in one month or two months, and then you'll be good to go. One of our Imperial Masters, that's what he did. I think in 30 days, he was able to get over 100 people. Um, and he talked to probably a thousand people. So get it over with. Do it quickly. Follow Yoda. Do it. Don't try. Do it. So how do we excel in Atomy? In the in Atomy, the first goal, as you know, is the sixty dollars a day, and you can do this yourself and maybe with a couple people. Um, so that's where it starts. But just keep doing the using and sharing, and you get there very quickly, right? And start to come to the meeting. But the big goal is. Academy is really built around teams, right? Leverage the team. And I love this picture because I don't know about you, but I remember uh, playing tug of war as a kid. If you played tug of war as a kid, you know, you have some strong kids in the front and the back and you have people in the middle. And that's what Atomy is, right? We have these two lines and some people are ahead of us in terms of knowledge or they use more products, but all of us together can really win. We can pull together. And that's what Atomy is. You see, the way that the compensation plan was made is that up and down the line, because we have unlimited levels and we get um, points and they never go away, they never reset on the left group and the right group, because of that, every, every toothbrush someone buys, every shampoo, every box of Absolute, every box of Hemoheme, no matter where it is, is giving strength to the whole line. And sometimes people forget that even the people above us, they finish their qualification one time for life. So they're shopping at the bottom of the line, helping everybody up. So that's why it's really about teamwork. And if we don't have this teamwork, then we can't really succeed in Atomy for the big money. And that's why Mr. Park always talks about um, united uh, hearts and the synergy together. I always love to think about the do two lines, as you know. I love to think about the geese. Um, now, God made these geese to fly together. Um, and there's several things we can learn in our binary system from the geese. So, of course, when they fly together, they provide additional lift and reduce the air resistance for the goose flying behind it. So if they fly alone, it's very hard to fly into the wind. But that first geese, who's probably your upline sponsor or upline partners, they're breaking the wind to make it easier for you, right? And so that's the beauty of this binary system that if we fly in formation, then we can really be successful. Um, and that's what this is all about, this binary system, is that figure out, at the first, you're not gonna know what it means, right? Why you have to buy, why you have to um, try more products, you know? If you really wanna be successful in anatomy, just try to learn from people and follow. If you've played any sport, you know that the first month, the first few weeks at least, you're practicing different techniques. You're, learn, you're getting your body ready again to run. You're learning how to breathe again for the season, right? Even, or if you're in an orchestra, right? It takes a few weeks to get everybody in sync. So if you're coming in or coming back to Atomy um, or leading, you know, we're trying to get the rhythm. We're trying to get the music to go together better. And that's where we look at being humble and learning from each other and trying to think of the other person more than ourselves, even our consumers. The second thing about these geese is that when they um, and when people drop out um, and let's say they stop buying or they don't come to the meetings, um, there's much harder for the people that are uh, flying or at the meetings 
to do what they need to do, right? We have to share presentations and testimonials, um, share product knowledge. So participation, they say that showing up is half of being a winner, right? Showing up. So we can be showing up. Um, so let's keep showing up and get that teamwork going, especially for those challenges. How about this one? Rotating leadership, right? I think one of the things in Atomy is that all of us, we sometimes figure out certain things and feel like we've made an accomplishment, but then we kind of sit back waiting for other people to do something. But in Atomy, we have to always try to push ourselves, stretch, right? Um, we have to stretch ourselves, and this is true in any business or any sport. We have to go beyond what we can do today. If we can do 50 push-ups, we have to try to do 60 push-ups. You know, if we can run three miles, we have to try to run six miles. And that's the same with Atomy. And that's why we have these challenges, because the challenges enable us to really do a lot of things. It forces us to learn more about the product. It forces us to talk to more people. It forces us to learn how to coordinate with our teammates. It learns how to calculate and maximize PV. I'm not saying betting. Betting is different. Stretching means whether you have a million or a million five PV, you're getting closer and closer. And just like sports, if you can run that three miles, you're not going to run six miles right away. You may run three and a half miles for the next few weeks, but then you'll run four miles. And that's the same with Adam. Um, because when we all try to be a leader, then we give people a little break and we can probably go higher and farther together. I love this one, you know. This is what really I saw here on this meeting today as well, is that the meetings and the sponsorship consultations, it gives us a chance to communicate and encourage each other. You know, I love the idea about the geese at the back and that the, are all honking for the people up the front. And I think we honk for them when they're making a presentation on these Zoom meetings. We honk for them when they're going for their sales master, their diamond master, their Sharon Rose, their, you know, their, their uh, crown and royal master, imperial master. Uh, we're honking for them. We're encouraging them. And we have to do that. Even the geese do it. Wow, that's amazing. So I love when we have the Adam spirit to do that. And finally, um, of course, we help each other. And there are times in Atomy where I know that um, you can get discouraged for, you know, you had a bad um, call with maybe a, a possible new customer or you tried to introduce something and someone didn't listen to you. And so there are those days, um, maybe a few days that um, you, you feel kind of down, you know, and that's like the geese. They sometimes want to drop out. Now, somebody told me one of the big leaders that is, I think has made Imperial Master by now, you know, they say that you're going to feel discouraged at least, I don't know whether it's five times or seven times before you become an Imperial Master. And that's why it's so important for us to stand beside each other and, you know, help us um, to talk to that other person, have a consultation to give you, a, you know, an upbeat talk and give you some suggestions how to talk differently the next time with that person or another person or how to plan your day and week ahead. And of course, we have all these other tools, whether it's the meetings, the eight core habits, the eight steps to success. Um, so we have to use all those too. But a lot of it is about us wrapping our arms around each other and helping us when the times are not so bright and getting us back into flying formation. And we have to keep flying because I know everybody says it, you know, don't give up. But, you know, if you're flying to Alaska from New Jersey or Maryland or Long Island, you're not going to get to um, to um, to Alaska if you if you if you get off the plane in um, in Chicago, you know, or if you're driving to Alaska, you're definitely not going to get there if you don't get in the car. And one of the ways we have to get there is we have to, of course, use the products, make the testimonies, all the basic things and come to the meeting. So it's just like that. But I I just love Atomy and I think you love it, too. Um, if you haven't felt it yet, the teamwork and the spirit, you'll feel it because unlike anywhere else in the world, you know, you do not have to be a star anatomy. Um, the people who try to come in and go fast by going alone, they just don't get anatomy yet, right? They have to learn that we fly together or we don't, you know, really fly. And so we don't go alone anatomy, as you know, we go together. 
And that's why we're all going to go far. We're all going to achieve our own individual success, our team success, um, the company's success to change uh, the world in all those ways, the flows of money. Um, but having those loyal, um, those swans, those imperial swans that are gentlemen and gentle women that really know how to present themselves to the world, how to care for people one-on-one, -on -one, the common person, but also as holy, rich, so-called, they and each of us and together, we can contribute to things. And all along the way, we are becoming those swans. So we're moving from geese to those beautiful swans. And I'm so happy to be here tonight. Thank you for listening. I hope something was useful. Thank you for watching. Do hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button and click the notifications bell.